Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Tennessee fans. Let's see, what is the title again? Huh, huh, huh. Tennessee fans take down the goalpost after winning, after win versus Alabama. So I don't know if this is a final or maybe a semi-final because you never know when it comes to the finals. And I live in Tennessee, I live in Memphis, Tennessee, but I haven't been to any games. I'm new to Memphis, I've been here for I haven't been here for a long time, let's say that. And Alabama has a reputation of sweet Alabama. Every time I see like a video, like a sketch about incest, you go to the comments, everybody say, send him back to Alabama. Alabama, sweet Alabama. But you never know. Let's get into it. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment on what you want to see next, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. Please subscribe to the channel and let's grow together. Let's go. Well, if you don't like college football, this is actually so cool man because like usually when i react to videos about europeans european fans and american fans man the europeans have so much more energy than the americans but let's see how this plays out Presented by Rocket Mortgage, right after these messages. So long from Rocky Top. The Orange Crush is Man. Knoxville after one of the craziest games we have ever experienced. What? And those are some very important uprights that are coming down and may end up in the Tennessee River tonight. Right up, Cowboy. After the Vols defeat the Tide 52-49 on a Chase McGrath knuckleball <laughs> from 40 yards out as Tennessee defeats Alabama. Amazing scene we are experiencing now and a tremendous game over the last four hours. So you say four hours. The game lasted four hours. Since they beat Alabama. <laughs> I mean, holy smokes. What passion. And if you were trying to explain college football to somebody, Brian, you think this picture might get it done? This uh, explains the euphoria that goes along with uh, writing a wrong. This is college football, but the fans are not college students. These Some of them are too old to be college students, so... Do they go to support the team, maybe because of the, the, the state, or maybe their children? That has uh, afflicted you for 15 years. Yeah, this, this, is a, this picture is more than a thousand words. And, and one correction from earlier, I, I said Tennessee would need to score at least 40. <laughs> I meant 50. <laughs> and so they did. And so they did. And what a scene as Hendon Hooker. Do you guys have highlights of this game? I would want to check it out. Was must have been a pretty cool game. It's one last final drive to set up the McGrath field goal. This is guy freeloading. <laughs> Do some work. Hopefully everybody stays safe. We're told it's the first field storm of this nature at Neyland Stadium since they defeated Florida back in '98, and they get Alabama off their chest. This when was this? The ebbs and flows of this ball game are what rivalries are made of, and this now officially is a rivalry again after Alabama had owned them for 15 years and to see oh so they hadn't won Alabama for 15 years okay now I get it now I understand also it looks like it's only there's only Tennessee uh fans over there the other team they don't come with some fans in Tennessee withstand this Alabama storming back and yet come out with a victory in the manner in which they accomplished this glorious win was amazing. All great stories have great characters, and this is no exception. Hendon Hooker was fabulous. 21 of 30, 385 yards, five touchdown passes, but at his absolute best with 15 seconds left, hitting two big time in routes to get themselves in position. To I don't know what's that. Jalen Hyatt catches five touchdown passes in this game. That's the SEC record. I mean, it's a phenomenal performance against what we said before the game, one of the top defenses in all the land. But I do have to say this, and as good as Nick Saban is, there was a calculated mistake. See, just, uh, they should have been running the ball when they got to the 32-yard line. Hold on. Are the players still on the pitch? So you have the stars and the fans all. Okay, this is new to me. To force 
Tennessee to use their timeouts. But that just diminishes from what we're watching on the screen because that should be the screen. I think what I need you to do, Rick, is draw up a play to get these uprights out of the My stadium. guy with the cigar. <laughs> <laughs> they have to break them down. They have to break them down a little bit more, I believe, before they can carry them out of that stadium. But to your, your point, Rick, there were mistakes made on, on both sides of, of this ball game. I and mean, you see them, uh, they, they got their cigars ready. Uh, Memphis. I said about 100,000 cigars are in that, that stadium uh, currently, the ritual after this following uh, this rivalry ball game. But there were mistakes that were made, and that goes to the ebb and flow of these rivalry games, whether it's on the field, whether it's on the sideline and coaches mismanaging ball, the ball game at certain instances. That's part. Yeah, of, man. Uh, I think now I see the college students. Look at them. Teams as closely aligned as these are. How old is this video? The Masters has a green jacket. <laughs> Wimbledon has that beautiful plate, right? We've seen the Lombardi Trophy for the Super Bowl. Now we see goalposts because they have slayed the dragon. They have finally beaten Alabama. And let me also say, you, you mentioned Hooker's numbers, Bryce Young coming back. There was no pitch count for this guy. Well, he had 52 passes. 52 pass attempts, well over 400 yards passing, and he looked as if he hasn't missed any time. And both of these hey, buddy, don't touch it. were NFL quality quarterbacks. And what a difference, though, with, with where this, and this guy's been hanging up there for a long for time. See if Reichert makes his field goal, and, and Tennessee has to start from deeper in their own territory. Look at this, and, it's and like ends. Been less time on the clock for them to do this. Maybe they wouldn't feel like they were back. And now the balls can say they are back. They got over the Florida hump earlier this year at home. They're still going to have a trip to Georgia in a few weeks. They'll got to deal with Kentucky as well in the SEC East. But there is no greater feeling than what they're experiencing right now in Knoxville, guys. No greater feeling, oh. absolutely. And look at this is a team that has great has a great quarterback, a quarterback that understands the offense. He ran oh, I just now saw the title. It was the final. No wonder why everybody's so excited. It was the final. And for over 50 yards, was there when they needed him as a runner. He understands he, he has unbelievable poise in the pocket and a gifted crew of wide receivers. Yes. Remember, Cedric. Hold on. Or does he say only final, maybe final score and not the final of the season? Final game of the season? Don't be mistaken. Please let me know in the comments. Tillman didn't play in this game. When he comes back and is healthy, this is going to look very much like the 2019 LSU team that had Joe Burrow and that gifted group of receivers. They're so this was past 2019. Defensively, there's, that's still a work in progress. It's pretty recent Jim then. Banks, the aggressive defensive coordinator who came over in 2021 oh, from Penn State. But these guys, they flew around. Only six months they ago. They made plays where the play needed to be made, stopping Alabama on that last drive, forcing the 50-yard kick by Reichardt. It, of course, he, he missed that kick. So, so they went out and they afflicted upon Alabama what Alabama had intended for them. And I can, uh, I, I, I can imagine, I know how they feel in that locker room. Yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. This is wild. This is mad wild. Because usually you only see Europeans, man. But I'm not going to lie, though. I live in America. The American sports are good and cool and everything. But when you see football fans, man, soccer football fans, when you see them go wild after their team get... The other day, like, Napoli won the, the Serie A, the Italian uh, championship. And their fans at 2, 3 o'clock at the night, uh, three, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, 2, 3 o'clock a.m., they follow them from the other city that they were playing in. They follow the bus until they get back to their city. That's how, how much like they love football up there. So in Europe, like football is like a religion. It doesn't make any sense. I hope you enjoyed the video, man. Please don't forget to like the video, comment on what you want to see next, and subscribe to the channel for more content.